Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can create the button in your data tables. So in one of my previous videos I have talked about how you can create the data tables in Shiny. So data tables as you know is a easy way to create interactive tables which user can easily filter or you know go back and forth to see the data. So a quick example if I'll show you if I don't run app where I have a table already created for the iris data table I will show you the structure also so this table is a very simple data table little bit interactive in nature because like this it has given a number of pages so page 1 2 3 I can show multiple values like 25 values in one page like this and do the search like I just started typing the name the letters and it has filtered looked into the entire table and filtered it by species so what I now want to show you is that this is easy you know you can go ahead just and just create the table so if I go back to the code it's very simple we, so as per the standard of shiny you need to have ui.r and server.r and within that I am importing the library shiny and this is the standard structure where the main thing I'm doing here is in the main panel where I'm saying that TT colon colon data table output iris and this is mentioned here in the server where again I'm importing the library shiny within the shiny server function which is a standard syntax what I'm saying is give me the output of iris so this iris this particular word iris is present over here iris so that's the thing you need to make sure and then create a data table which is dt colon colon render data table and you will write this and just give the object name iris it will going to produce the table which was uh, if I stop it here and run it again you will see it, it was present over here so that's how you can very easily go ahead and create the data table now the another thing is that how you can you know create uh, something like buttons where you can download the data which is printed on the screen or save it into a PDF or copy it so for that you need to extend this uh, syntax little bit so that you have the available options of render data table so first of all uh, for that I need to convert into a proper function so I will remove the curly braces of a reactive function and then start adding the uh, extensions so first of all after comma I will say extensions is equals to buttons options is equals to list and then DOM which is document object module is equals to B F R T I P and then the name of the buttons so which will be list so buttons equals to it in the list we will specify what we want we want copy we want uh, PDF we want CSV um, maybe XO and print probably these are all the things which we want in a table for more uh, comprehensive discussion or list you can go on the uh, the package and figure it out but this is something which we frequently use and generally we use CSV in Excel most of the times not even copy in PDF but I've just shown you the couple of options so save I will save it stop the application which I ran it earlier and let's try to run it so now as you can see I have the buttons enabled for me based on the changes I have done in the document and the extension that I have added so if I now want to uh, download something in a CSV format or the, the information which is present over here I can just click on the CSV hit enter now this data table is downloaded I will click on this it should show me 10 observations so yeah it is showing me the 10 observations which are present over here similarly if I want in PDF I can hit PDF or if I want to print I can hit the print so that's how very easily you can add more interactivity to your data table and make it more meaningful for your end user. 